I was watching uh, Showgirls, right? The bad bitch from Showgirls, why she never got another opportunity, man? Right? Because she went from Saved to the Bell, Saved by the, Saved by the Bell to Showgirls. To What's nothing. her name? Elizabeth Berkeley, was that it? Where is she at now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, you inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most, Finding Nemo. Tell me when you need it again. Tell me when you need it. Tell me when you need it again. Ow! And today on the show, we got a real special guest. The one and only, my friend, your friend, Access TV's very own, DJ Ski in the motherfucking What up, dog? Ass. I can What's actually up? say, what up, dog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dog? How are you, you saying? How you doing, man? Good? The wheels are still coming these days. Man, I'm, this guy's actually taking my job, man. He's DJing up here, playing some classic <laughs> Isley Brothers shit. Like, Snoop, he, like, he does it all. So yeah. now I'm kind of, like, nervous, you know, now that he started doing It's amazing, DJing. you know, you would say that because, you know, first time I met him and was thinking on the music, this man is really music inclined. Yeah, man. That's all I know. My mother raised me around music, good music, and I guess that spawned me to be a DJ. But what I want to know is what, what made you become a DJ? What was it that, that got you into DJing? It was, a, it was a similar thing. Like, growing up, you know, I just loved music. And I remember uh, the, the first way I started, I started with, a, you remember the CD changers back in the day? Mm -hmm. I got a three CD changer for, for Christmas. And this is before, like, the internet. So I didn't know, like, I saw DJs with, like, turntables mixers, but I didn't know what, why you'd need two turntables. I was like a, you know, 12 year old kid. And uh, I just always loved playing different sounds and mixing different genres. You know, I'd always have like different CD piles. I'd have my like rock pile, I'd have my hip hop pile. And I love being able to mix that together and kind of DJing, you know, I realized, you know, I couldn't rap, I couldn't sing, I couldn't do any of that, but I wanted to be involved with music and DJing was the, the way I could showcase that. I could play shit and there's a lot of other benefits that come along with, with DJing as you know. Well, and they say DJs get the most head. <laughs> I would not argue with that. Well, DJs be the ones that be telling, hey, if you want to meet the artist, you know you got to go through me. Especially, yeah, exactly, because you're like the gatekeeper, because you're still kind of accessible. It's not like Snoop, you can't get to Snoop. There's 20 people where I might be a little, you might be able to get me. I got only got a couple people around me. So, <laughs> like, I'm a, I'm a little easier to get to. Was it easy for you, you know, to, to, to spread the message, or was it difficult in the, in the beginning as far as doing this? Because you took it head on. It was tough. I mean, dude, I'm a white boy from, you know, I grew up in, uh, in Minneapolis, so it was definitely tough, especially to come out to the West Coast and get embraced by, by you, by game, by all these people and become like the biggest West Coast DJ at that time. Like, you know, it, it definitely was difficult, but I always just stayed true to who I was and played and supported good shit. And the rest, you know, it all came together. Like at the end of the day, it's, as you know, like you, you're one of those guys too that can walk between any of these worlds and cultures and be accepted because you never try to fit in with something that, that you're not. For me, it was the same way. Like I never went in there, even when I was doing the, the most street gang banging, you know, like mixtapes, like the beef tapes with game and stuff. Like I was never out there like, you know, on the block fucking throwing up B signs and stuff. Like that wouldn't, then people wouldn't accept it and it wouldn't be authentic, you know? I just like good music. And yeah. It happened to all come together. So what, what you been working on, man? We know you got your own show, you know what I'm saying? I love to see you on TV. Like I say, that's, that's a great accomplishment to be able to have your own show where you're the talk show host and you interviewing people Look in your talking. world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's yeah, a good yeah. feeling, right? Nah, it's incredible. We shoot the show every Tuesday, so we live in a, we live in a few hours, and it's good because we get to get a mix of, you know, the superstar artists from, you know, we had Chris Brown on, Big Sean's on this week to, you know, also support the newcomers. So we got Scheme performing, we got T-Fly performing, we got, you know, it's oh, a great mix. Oh, T-Fly give her that dick on your show? He, she's <laughs> definitely gonna give her that she dick on the show. Fuck so, me. And it's on. I wanna fuck her too, you know, like so, you know, so if somebody wanna, you know, tune in, like, uh, what, what, she go yeah. what, what channel do they go to? Let them know, you know. Tune, you got to tune in to Access TV every Tuesday night, 10 on the East, 7 on the West, and, uh, you know, we represent that, that good shit. We also got, like, Grand Theft Auto. We're documenting the characters behind the game. So we kind of showcase a little bit of everything, not just music, but the entire culture. Bishop, how do you get, how would you get those women on for you? How do you do, that's what I need to, I need to know that trick. How do you well, get them all you to have participate to do is in invite that? invite them, just like you got the weather girls. You got to invite them. You know a, a closed mouth never get fed. That's true. Open Damn. your mouth, ask and it shall be given. <laughs> You know, now when you try it and then you come to me and say it didn't work, then I'll give you some more advice. Yeah, man. But you got to try it first. Like big newscasts <laughs> and shows got weather girls. 
You need some feminine around the office, man. <laughs> I gotta figure out something for my show. I'm going back now, to the drawing board, man. I say you need some feminine around the office. What would, you, what, what would y'all do for my show? To you, I would have a, a, mm. a waitress. A waitress? Yeah, so that way when you got your guest on, she's serving drinks, she's uh, making sure that, you know, everything is taken care of, that, you know, the guest feels right at home, and, you know, maybe a massage while they're sitting down, or, you know. It's like the girls that when they go out and host clubs, right? If yeah, that's a, funny, girls, that's a funny thing, too, girls hosting, because they don't do anything but show up. <laughs> yeah, but they look good when they show up. Absolutely. And what they do, right. they attract other girls, which attract that's the key. dudes who pop bottles, which attract money, and it's a business. So it's like me as a player, I understand the dynamics of that. You know, she can come up with the champagne bottle with the sparkles on it when special guests is on there that, right. that, that you have. Like if you have a puffy on there and he's going to do Revolt TV and he want to come on your shit, you pop the bottle, bring the cake out, and you know, celebrate. When I come on there, you do my shit. You have a motherfucker with the bottles, the chronic, the whole nine, and where it feels like, you know, damn, you made a nigga feel at home. And it's, it's a home environment, but it's like that club feel. And the woman, she'll give you that, that dynamic that you so desperately need right now. My God. There and we you go. know by doing that, you know you'll get the best out of your guests. It's true. You know what I mean? Then they'll open up, be more relaxed, feeling like at home, you know, start sharing some things that you, you know, never read about in the magazine. Absolutely. Nah, you're right. Hey, I think we gotta, we gotta be ready by, by the time you do the show. Yeah, that's easy, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, I could bring one with me if you like. You, you know what I'm saying? The more you, the merrier, right? To give you the starter kit, you know what I'm saying? To show you what it's supposed to be. There was one time there was a llama crossing the road, and he ran into this, like, I don't know if it was a possum or an alligator together, like a poss alligator. And he saw them, and then they made it and made, like, this weird creature that is now instinct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, that instinct. Wait, yes. Instinct? Is that not a word? <laughs> Yo, hip hop and the new generation are both hopeless in fact. But when I listen to dope flows in the lab, I grab more than a stack of skulls to break in. Cause I'm all the hope that it has. So I perform in abilities and do like Moses, split both oceans in half. I'm froze to the thought of both clothes in the rack. Cause styles left behind only means my hope flows in the past. Holds in my glass. You know what's crazy? You're actually, I gotta give you credit. Cause Snoop is responsible for so much of, a, of, of where I am today. Not just by like doing mixtapes and the associations, but. I had this idea back in the day to shoot a video. I started Ski TV like seven years ago, and we just ran around like in the studio shooting with a different artist or interviewing different people and getting interesting stories on the road. And then I was like, damn, you know, the most viewed thing online are music videos. So I was like, let's go shoot one. How hard would it be? So I spent a couple grand out of my pocket to shoot it for Terrace. You, Terrace, DJ Quick, uh, who else was on it? Bounce Rap Skate. It was, it was a crazy record, so I called in every favor. We got a house, and we did this video, and it turned out, I remember you were like, damn, this is like a real video shit. This is back <laughs> when video, like the cheapest video was 100 grand at the time. So we came in, and we did that for like a couple grand, and some of the people up in Interscope caught wind of it, and it all worked out, but you were the first one that we did. It's interesting, you know, you could work with whoever, even if the person has a number one record at the time right now, but as soon as you say this guy's name, he's like the politician, the gatekeeper, like everybody mm. respects and get, I'm not just saying that because you, you're up here, it's, it's true, it's like, I always say Snoop's the one person I can say to my, you know, my grandma, she might not know who Kanye is or one of those things, but she knows who, who Snoop Dogg is, so. Shout out to Granny. And how do you, is, how do you like, how are you so accepted? You're like a politician, you're accepted in every world, no matter all the other stuff. How have you been able to, to navigate all that? I need some advice. When you give respect and you give love, it usually comes back to you. Whatever you project, it comes back to you in the mirror. So it's about the energy that you put out. You That's know, real. Even, the, even through the tough times when it was, uh, heated and dramatic and, you know, problematic or whatnot, I still managed to be, you know, at peace with not wanting to become violent because I had lived a violent life before I became a, a rapper. So you see what I'm saying? So it's like to be able to, to assess what the situation is, if it's your career, you got to love it the way you want it to love you back. So if you love it the right way and you nurture it, it'll give you that back. That's nice, real. And you always got to be inspired by others because, you know, look, there's how many people, six billion people in the world and all the people that came before you, no idea is original. Like, it's just how you flip it right now, you know? You think they counted everybody, man, for real? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's crazy. There's going to be like another billion soon, too. I mean, yeah, they're going to count everybody. There's some yeah. niggas that have been born. Nobody don't even know nothing about it. 
I got this section right here called uh, Inside the Smoker Studio where I ask some basic questions and you just answer them yeah. best of your ability. I've seen the show. What's the first thing you do or what's the first thing you think of when you wake up? Mm. The first thing I do is check my phone because I'm scared. I got like, I'm addicted to my phone and all paranoid that the world's ended or something, you know. So I feel like before anything, I have to check my phone and see what, for, even though it's never anything bad. So that's the first thing I do. I just like anxious. Hot or cold? Uh, cold. Favorite pair of shoes all time? Cliche, but Jordan 11s, just because that's what really got me into it. The white and black Concord ones. Megan Good or Megan Fox? Uh, it used to be Megan Good. I say Megan Fox today, if you ask me today. Oh, you seen her lately? Re more, re more recently than more recent Megan Fox, but back in the day it would have been Megan Good. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that. Today. Today. When the last time you had a TV dinner? The last time I had a TV dinner? What's it? Well, now they come with like them fancy ones. I do all my, my healthy shit, so I got a Trader Joe's, so I had one of those like last week. You have? Yeah, bro. I thought you was gonna say like 19. Nah, dude. For the for the real TV ones, like I'll get like the fancy ones and shit now, but it's still a TV dinner at the, the end one of the with day. The cuisine and all that shit, yeah, the peas and all that exactly. shit. Exactly. I'll get that, but the, the true one, probably yeah. Probably I'm gonna tell you a secret. That's how I cheat, right? When I be cooking uh -huh. for the house, if I cook a big ass <laughs> meal, if I cook barbecue and a bunch of shit, <laughs> and they be like, "Damn, pops, how the vegetables taste so motherfucking good." I go buy the TV dinner and heat it up and take all the vegetables out of the motherfuckers and dump the motherfuckers in one big ass bowl and bring them in the house and put a little butter in the pot look like I cooked them <laughs> and they're already done and I pour them out and niggas be like, that motherfucker can cook, nigga. Yeah, right there, that, that shit good, one dude. they be mixed with green and yellow. Oh man. That's that poly shit. I be mixing the motherfuckers up green and yellow. <laughs> Between that and like Kraft macaroni and, and they got cheese. Them, ooh, that's the one. Ooh, which one is that one? That green and gold corn is right, yeah. <laughs> I look for blank in a woman. Uh, the total package. I'm a perfectionist. It's gotta be everything. I don't look for just one thing, you know? Like You checking you know her feet, her nails. Or everything, bro. Like, you can't hair. have nothing, you know? If you're, if you're gonna her be, smile. like... smile. You gotta have it all. Like, I'm very, you know... Her car. I want the best everything. Her apartment, her bathroom, <laughs> her <laughs> kitchen that's, sink. That's, you find so much out from, from a woman's yeah, bathroom, Yeah, like, let me bro. use your bathroom. And she say, hold on. Yeah. That's the first <laughs> sign. <laughs> It's something ain't right. So you know that's a lot you want in a woman. So if you don't see that in her, how about building that in her? I wish I could. I don't know. I got the patience for that. I'm not even you gonna know lie. Because I mean? you know they don't be really coming A to Z like that, man. It's you true. got. It's you know tough. what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're right. Not, you ain't gonna find no chick. You gotta now. make them there, church. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, you're right. Create that's a the tough kind thing. of woman you want. So you looking for a creative bitch? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. your application to Bishop Magic yeah. Wand? Create a bitch application? Yeah. He, he, he want her to come with everything. It's got to come like, you know, it's like you're buying the top of the line car. You want, like, you know, I don't want the little, you know, the, the little whatever class Mercedes. But you know I want how the, you, when you get it, though, you put wheels on it, white walls. It's true. But I want, the, I want to start with the, with the Maybach, the Pullman now. You man, know, like, put a regular bitch up here, man, and, and give me that new Create a Bitch application. <laughs> Get it together. Church. Preach. Tabernacle.